Hi folks, it's the Siggy. Welcome to my latest video. Um, this is following the latest update that was promised that it was going to be update 13 and 14 in one for Windows. Um, just before I start, I have had a couple of people asking me how to actually carry out the update. It will come onto the screen saying a new version is available and it will take you to uh, the Windows Store um, and it'll tell you it was it's installed on it what you do need to do is you need to manually update with Windows 8.1 so taking your cursor over to the bottom right hand side just going on to my second monitor go up to settings click on app updates check for updates and on mine it will actually say that uh, there's no updates available just prior to starting this video it came up there was the update it does take quite a while actually you know but a fast internet connection okay so that's updated I've not really had a good look round the uh, new features yet or the different features I thought I'd share that with you guys one thing that did come up straight away is there's a notification about the faction headquarters. I am aware that was coming out. I've had some information on that previously. Um, let's just take a look at it. So, place the faction HQ or continue to the My Faction. Well, now let's go for it and place it now. Use, and I've got a space just there. Okay, um, let's have a quick look round and see what other changes we can see on here. The events is flashing now. I don't know if it does anything different. Faction events. Oh, I see. Not sure how you go directly to a faction allied assault, but. No, you don't. Um, maybe for recording it for later um, but what we can do is we can go on our faction events um, the PvP battles player versus player battles straight from there if we want the fonts changed I can still read it I can read it before I don't see the real reason for changing it but I don't run game loft I'm just a mere poor soul who plays the game. There's no major obvious differences. The faction headquarters, I will be doing a separate video on that. Uh, have we got anything new in the store? Doesn't appear to be. No. Anything specials? No. Any more boosters? No. I would imagine on this new update there will be some new items coming out very shortly. Um, let's just have a quick look back on uh, our factions. No, I won't. I shall go back onto events. Faction event. Love everybody. Win a PvP battle. Go. Right. Gives me the option to fight a battle. Uh, Ativos. It's like a reasonable size. What should we do with these? We'll have um, an air battle. Three, one, two, three. Oh, that's a lot smaller. Oh, so I'll deploy. I know it's going to be. Following the last conquest, my resources are seriously down. I've got to do some some rebuilding. That's a, I think it's a UFO, that. It's a, um, a lottery event. We're going to use a distress call here, and let's crack on with this. Oh man, it seems like everything's in slow motion. Again, the font is smaller on here. Not sure of the reason for that. So EMP, let's take that nuke out. Nice and done. 
Now there's a, a new thing. What we can do is we can invade straight from a faction battle now. If they're not under protection. I guess a lot of people, or a lot more people, are going to be protected now. So visually, no major changes, although I did notice on the comms earlier. Wrong. I did notice on the uh, settings, the options changed slightly. What else have we got? Medals pop up. Not really sure what that is. No, I don't want to all that. Thank you. Right. If I see any more changes, we'll quick look underwater. Collect the thorium while I'm there. If I see any more changes, I shall let you know. And I will be producing a couple more videos I've got in the pipeline. One is on accepting and declaring faction wars. Um, I'll also be doing a feature on the new faction headquarters once I've had a look around it myself. Okay, thanks for watching. You've been watching the Siggy.